Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just a little recap, we've done two days this week. It's Monday and Tuesday, today is Tuesday. We've been trying to rattle off a second lift. Um, we started it on Thursday afternoon. It's a three day lift, 16 courses high brickwork, all the lintels to go on. It's got an integral garage. So what we've done is we've started on one side, worked his way round, completed all the brickwork all the way round to the front of the garage, left that open for an excess. Now we've got the lentils, brickwork, uh, DPCs to go inside, vents to go in. So there's a vent for the WC, the toilet. Those go in over the window in the joist height. Utility room, they go under the lintel, just underneath on the left side. And there's a kitchen vent that's gone in. That's for the cooker extract. Two courses of blocks, one course of brick. Wrapped that all the way around. Scaled the lines from either side to pick up the internal walls and a big lintel that goes across that picks up a stud wall inside there. Got all that done by dinner time today. It took three days to do that lift, just me and Ozzy. Working eight hour shifts. Get in at seven. Have bricks on the bay, load up up until whenever the mortar comes because there's four gangs on site. I'll go into that in a little bit in a minute. Mortar comes, we stop loading, anything that's left on the bay can get off, Aussie will get off during the day. Um, and then we just start laying. And the process is now, we're using three profiles. Start one corner, come so far along, don't quite get to the other corner. Take that profile off, switch it over to the other side and keep moving the profiles around that way. That way we only got, we're, we're losing one profile and two timbers that we don't have to keep setting up and carrying around every time. There wasn't anything necessarily difficult about the second left, although there is a big steel to go in over the garage, which we haven't put in because the pad stones won't take you when they're fresh. So we're going to put that in tomorrow. Tomorrow also, I've got to go back to the first plot we've done. It's ready for CML, or well, it's been CML picked up on the second lift where you go up the boards came that high we have had to go 16 courses on these second lifts because the layer system scaffold only works in increments of 450 i think it is or 500 i think it's 450 um, and that being the case that second lift comes right up to the edge of the brickwork so imagine you're looking down on your brickwork and you pull the line through and these bricks that we were using at the very start of the job, January, they were soaking wet, frozen. Um, and you do get them bricks slipping a lot. They were trying to slip on the door reveals, trying to slip on the windows. Um, so you can only go so much at any one time. So when the scaffold's been removed now, you've looked up and you can see a lip on some of the brickwork because it was that tight. It was like a nosebleed right down to your ankles. So tomorrow we've got to take up 10 bricks and just flush them up, make sure they're flush to the face. Um, but when you're looking down at your feet, you can't see that. There's no, no way on earth you can see it. Looney, come out. Looney, come here, come here, sit, sit. Good girl. Um, so I got rectified that, they're going to put me a tower up or they've got a tower there. I haven't um, managed to see what they've set up. But I'll get that done in the morning, it's an hour's job. If that, then we'll go. We've started a new plot this afternoon. Managed to get in 13, whoa, 13 courses. Do you want to sit down? You've got no pants on, get out of us. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Daddy's, no, daddy's using that. <laughs> Making a video. <laughs> <laughs> I seen. I saw the trouble in her eyes. <laughs> Bella, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I'm making a video. <laughs> don't touch it now. Don't touch it because we're making a video. And um, we're starting a new plot this afternoon. Got set up the profiles. Ozzy had been loading out. Bella, come out the way, please. Come out the way. Bella. Come on. Come here, please. You no. Any toys right. Keep <laughs> Thank you. The toys won't go. She'll just go. Anyway, 
start it, set up the profiles. Ozzy had already put the stacks of brick out. Um, we started getting that ready yesterday afternoon, or Ozzy started getting it ready. Dropped in there one o'clock today, laid for two hours, got 13 courses on it. Um, but the only problem is now, there isn't enough materials. And I shall tell you for why. We're missing things. So when I came back from holiday, there was meant to be one gang covering for me, and then I get back and somebody, the other gang were gonna go away and then that gang was gonna cover for them on, on while well, they're on holiday. Come back and there's three gangs on the side of the site where there was only two before me and the other gang. Hey, come out of that. Bally. <laughs> so when I, when I left, there was two gangs. When I come back, there was three gangs and me. There's two sides of the site. One side, there's been two gangs over there for the last two months or so. They've literally hit 10 or 11 first lifts. No scaffold on site for that side of the site. And they've blitzed all the, all the slabs that are available. There's no other slabs available. So what they've done is they've come over to our side of the site and they've just blitzed, well, I say blitzed, they've just jumped on whatever's available across ours. They've started two new plots, of which which should have been mine and Neil's. You showed me how fast you can run. And it's caused havoc. Now there's no lintels on site for meter boxes and stuff like that because they've all been used up. You get into drops where people will need lintels. There's a lot of second lifts coming in now, and I can see that there's going to be lintels missing here, there, and everywhere. Especially when the other side of the side, when that kicks off, when they start second lifting 10 plots, there's going to be a shortage of lintels unless they start ordering some more in. Um, but what has happened, um, people are getting pulled all over the place. When lads are, like, the, the lads who went on holiday, they left down a load of bits at the front and what they didn't manage to get done. So gangs are having to drop in on their work to finish that and square it up. The gang had to square up some of my work before I went away. Um, where I'd had to leave down maybe 10 blocks because uh, I just didn't have time to get it up. Uh, they've been running around doing everyone's bits and then a gang came in wait, while well, they were waiting for a job start and took my plot next door to me, I say my plot, took the plot I was meant to go on, um, rinsed both gables, the back, one and most of the party wall at the front, uh, most of the party wall in between, and then scarpered onto their job and left all the crap, basically, again, for another gang to pick up. Who wants to play with these? Uh, Like people say, I like to moan. I'm not really moaning that much because I've come back and I've got straight plots. I've I've picked up two of my pikes. They are done. I've uh, picked up my second left, finished that. And now I've started a new plot. So I have been lucky somehow, I don't know how. I haven't had to pick up everyone else's rubbish, bits and bobs. Um, I haven't been asked to do it. If I got asked, then, you know. I'd have to do a little bit myself because I left a little bit. But I haven't, so that's where we stand on the job at the minute. The morale, people are doing a bit of moaning. Um, Britley is having a little bit of a moan, but it's to be expected when everybody's four gangs between a few houses. It's not really uh, ideal. Hopefully they can get the scaffold sorted on the other side of the site and we can go back to two gangs on our side. At the minute there is two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven plots where we've got stuff ongoing and waiting. It's a madhouse. So that's my little that's my little um, uptake on the last couple of days and that's where we stand. So if you've enjoyed today's video, give us a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, we'll get back to you and get some more of an update later on in the week. Keep it nice and easy.